Hello everyone and welcome to this GTC session where I will show you how to begin your AI journey with NVIDIA Jetson Nano. And in this session you will learn a lot. I will show you some examples of how we are using Jetson Nano in the schools, in different companies, and also you will learn how to start from zero and make something like this. This is a quick object detection demo that you can make in a few lines. You don't need skills to code. And I can detect things like plants, plants. <laughs> I can detect things like caps, for example, and other objects. So let's get started. The NVIDIA Jetson Nano is the perfect fit for a long AI career. Oop, my face is covering this text. And why I'm saying this? I'm saying this because we know that NVIDIA is being used in schools, in universities, to make robots like the Jetbot, and in industries like in this uh, image in the right, where we see an NVIDIA Jetson Nano 4 GB controlling four cameras to make a 3D scan of a full body. They are using 36 Jetson Nanos and 144 Sony cameras. I will speak about this example later in this presentation. The Jetson Nano is really easy to use, to connect and to set up. The form factor is really small and you have everything. The power connector, the screen connector, HDMI by the way, the USB connectors for cameras, keyboards, peripherals, uh, Ethernet connector. And to install the software, you only need to put an SD card with the Jetpack image and everything will be ready to get started. Why Jetson Nano is a perfect fit for AI in education? First, it's a small and portable. It's an all-in-one computer. You can run here a browser with YouTube, Telegram, Visual Studio Code, and almost any software you can run in a desktop computer. It is really low cost, it costs a bit more than a Raspberry Pi, but this has the power to execute Edge AI tasks with a really good performance. Of course, this is part of the NVIDIA ecosystem, so you can run AI models with CUDA, for example. And it is upgradable to fit any project size. So for example, if you have a big AI model that runs with some difficulties in a Jetson Nano, you can always go for a bigger and more powerful model in the Jetson family always using the same software. So even if you have a Jetson Nano 2GB and you need more memory, you can jump to a 4 gigabit one and the software will be the same. If you go to a Xavier, you will have exactly the same compatibility. And where are the tutorials? Where you can get started? Where you can learn how to do object detection, segmentation, training? We have a lot of content and videos in our YouTube channel. We have also a DLI course, which is getting started with Jetson Nano. And also we have the Jetbot platform, which will help you to learn the basics of robotics using Jetson Nano. So let's keep speaking about Jetbot because Jetbot is really useful to teach robotics. I will show you a video with some examples. So over here we have Jetbot, which is an open source robot that we built using Jetson Nano. And the idea behind Jetbot was to give people that wanted to start with AI or maybe AI with Jets and Nano a platform that they could just get up and running right away. You buy the components of the robot. We have everything on GitHub. So it's super easy to get started. It's all done in Jupyter Notebooks. So we have like basic examples uh, from just controlling from your web browser in Python. It's super easy to do. To more complicated examples like using AI for avoiding collisions. And then we go all the way to road following to have like kind of an autonomous car navigating a Lego city. So that's the basic idea is that you can start with uh, this platform. It's all open source, the hardware, the software, and then you can take what you learned, you can take the components even, and you could build something new and who knows what that would be, it would be kind of up to you. The Jetbot is an open source autonomous deep learning robotic kit. That means that you can personalize your Jetbot, you can create your own software and even modify the hardware to make a different robot. It is programmable through Jupyter Notebooks and you can train each AI to do obstacle detection, object following, path planning, navigation, or any other action you want to train it for. For more information, you can visit the website jetbot.org. And this is open hardware, so you can modify the robots. And these are some of the models that some universities and distributors have made. So this is basically the same Jetbot with different form factors. You can build and brand your own one. The Jetson is so easy to use that even high school students are using it for some projects. So we have here a few projects. I will share the presentation at the end so you can click and see all of them. But basically, there are students with 13 and 16 years old doing amazing AI projects. We want to keep the Jetson Nano close to K-12 students. And that is why we are making a partnership with ID Tech. ID Tech is a big learning platform where kids and teens can learn a lot of skills. 
And now we are going to include a 10 week course with Jetson Nano that will prepare students for college and future careers on AI. We are also preparing some scholarships from NVIDIA to sponsor the career of some students. And the curriculum has been designed in collaboration with us and we will create an official certificate from NVIDIA that every student will receive at the end of the course. And if you want to start from home, we have also a lot of kits. For example, these SparkFun kits. By the way, if you are an educator, you will have a 10% off in any of those kits. So here we have the typical kit, the getting started kit, which has the Jetson Nano, the camera, so you can do the inference, object detection, etc., which is the SparkFun DLA kit. Then we have the SparkFun Machine Learning at Home kit and the Jetbot AI kit. I have been speaking about the Jetbot, so I'm going to focus now on the Machine Learning at Home kit. Let's see three examples of what we can do with this. This is a project to make a pet feeder, which is using the GPIO port to move a servo that will feed your pet. We have also a cool example of an AI project that will recommend you the best recipe depending on the status of a banana. <laughs> and we have also a project to turn the lights on and off when you enter or leave a room. All these projects have the example code in the SparkFun website. And now another option, the Manchester University Coursera course. Let's imagine you want to build a robot while learning AI while studying in a really prestigious university like Manchester. So we, NVIDIA and the University of Manchester are preparing a course to teach you advanced robotics from scratch with a platform called the PuzzleBot. The PuzzleBot is an amazing platform to get started with robotics because it has two brains. The simple brain, which is called the hacker board, is going to control the motors and some basic parameters. And over that brain, we have added the Jetson Nano, which is going to add amazing AI capabilities. You're going to be able to do path following, object detection, segmentation, adding a LiDAR in the future, even adding voice commands. Anything you can imagine can be added to this robot. And to learn how to do this, the University of Manchester has been preparing an amazing course that will be available in Coursera. And it contains these topics. In the MOOC 1, you will learn the basics. And in the MOOC 2, you will use the Jetson to the maximum capabilities. And you will learn making an intelligent navigation project with this robot. I will show you now a video of the Jetson PuzzleBot using Gazebo, the 3D simulation, and the real environment. Another interesting project is the Jetson Nano Hand. This is a real robotic hand that is 3D printed and is controlled by a Jetson Nano. Take a look to this video. Amazing, eh? The limit is your imagination. There are a lot of projects you can make with the Jetson Nano. But how difficult is to start from zero? You don't have any idea of AI. You are a student. You are a professor even that you want to teach AI. How difficult is to start from zero? The answer is zero. It's very easy. AI is much easier than you expect. Do you remember the example I showed you in the beginning with the cup, with the plant, recognizing the, the objects? I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch really easy. So you need to put an SD card and in that SD card you need to have the Jetpack. For that you need to go to the Jetpack website, you need to select the SD card image, in this case for the Jetson Nano 2 GB. It's going to download a file. Then we have a tool called Balena and that tool is going to open the image you already download. You select the, the file, click open, you select the SD card and then you burn the image into the SD card. 
After this is just an easy next next installation like when you install Windows or Ubuntu you put the SD card it's gonna ask you this, these details about the language about the keyboard configuration you're gonna set up the region you're gonna set up your username your password and after everything is installed you will see the Nvidia logo you will see the desktop and we will be ready to install the tools for AI here we have the desktop here I'm going to open a terminal and I'm going to download one script. This script contains 10 instructions, which are really easy. I have made this script just to save some time in this presentation because it's the typical APT update, APT upgrade, uh, the um, GitHub clone. So I'm cloning the Jetson inference repository, for example. So basically there are 10 really easy instructions to clone a repository and build it. After everything is built, I'm going to see another menu which is gonna show me the models, the AI models I want to install. There are a few already selected, but I can select something more specific if I want to detect, for example, pedestrians or something. So I'm gonna click OK. This is gonna download the models. It will take some time. And after the models are installed, I need to check if I want to install PyTorch or not. But this is only for training purposes. So I'm not going to do an AI training now. So I'm gonna skip this step. Everything is almost built, ready. So I'm going to open now a folder where we have a few videos with different examples like pedestrians walking in a park, like some cars parked in the street. And I'm going to use these videos for the next examples. The first one is going to detect different objects, pedestrians, plants in a park. The second one is going to be the same one, but I'm going to change the model to be more accurate with the pedestrians. And the third one is going to be a segmentation example with some cars around. So let's start with the first one. As I said before, you don't need any coding skills to do this. You don't need even AI skills. Uh, this is just a command line script. You need to type Python, detectnet.py, the network, which is the name of the model, and the name of the video. As I said, you type the command, you select the MP4 video. I'm selecting an output video because I want to store the output video with the detection boxes. And basically, I'm detecting now persons, pedestrians, and potted plants sometimes. It is not very accurate because this is using the mobile net model. I'm going to select a more specific pedestrian model. So I'm going to go to the selector menu where I can select the models. And I'm going to download the pethnet uh, model. And I'm going to say now network equals pethnet. And with this, you will see more accuracy in the detection and I'm gonna not I'm not going to detect the, the plants for example I'm gonna detect only the pedestrians and with much more accuracy and here we have the detection as you see the pedestrians are much better detected we are not detecting now the potted plants for example and the detection is much more accurate it, they only disappear behind the light pole in this third example it's almost the same instead of using detectnet.py I'm gonna use segnet.py but also I need to add the name of the model which in this case will be the ResNet uh, 18 with the cityscapes model and I'm gonna add the name of the video I'm gonna use this video which has a few buildings, cars, the sky, the road and I'm gonna try to detect everything and segment each part this is the example video I'm gonna use it has some cars, some buildings, the sky, the trees so it's really good for uh, a proof of content of, of segmentation. So as I said, I'm going to use the FCN ResNet 18 Cityscapes model and I'm going to apply this to the input video. And here it is. AI is tagging with different colors the buildings, the trees, the sky, the road, the vehicles. Here you have the color codes and the tags. And with this, you have the basic blocks to start building a self-driving car because you can say to the car, okay, go forward until you find a car and then you brake. So yes, this is really useful to start your first robotics project, for example. Okay, and how I did the first example. So if I want to detect the object's life with a webcam, basically it's the same. I'm going to say Python detectnet.py and then the name of the device. Usually, if it's the first camera you connect to the Jetson is slash dev slash video of zero. So with this command, basically what I have is this. Hello, here I am. And I can start detecting objects here, like yes, the, the cup, or yeah, the plant, and well, different objects. Probably the smartphone can be detected too. Let's see, cell phone, cell phone, yes, it's working, yeah? So see how easy it is to start building with the Jetson Nano. You don't need to know how to code. You don't need to be an AI expert and an AI pro on this, because you have now the basic blocks to start your next 
big education project, your next AI startup, and then you can start learning from here. And also we have a lot of projects made by the community, like this one made by Anouk Saharan, which is doing the 3D post estimation using a Jetson, or this one made by James Bratton, which is using the face detection algorithm with a camera connected to the Jetson by detecting if he's angry or not to activate the clowns or not. Let's take a look to this video about the community projects we have. And now an important question, are you passionate about teaching AI? Because if you are, if you like to be teaching in universities, schools, if you like to organize workshops or hackathons, you are a great candidate to be a Jetson ambassador. And this has a lot of benefits. This is an example of a success story in the University of Malaga, Spain, where an ambassador teaches to 12 students and almost all of them are now certified as Jetson specialists. And what is a Jetson specialist? Well, if you are passionate about learning AI, but you don't want to teach like a professor, you can still be certified by us. You only need to complete a DLI online test and have some experience with the Jetson platform, and you will be a candidate to be one of our Jetson AI specialists. So basically we have two different certification. One, if you are a teacher, you want to teach others AI, is the Jetson AI ambassador, and it has a lot of benefits to, for example, organize hackathons, workshops, we can help you and support you on that. And the other one is the Jetson AI Specialist, which is more interested for students, enthusiasts, or anyone who wants to learn about AI with Jetson. And as I said, these certifications have a lot of benefits. Here we have a few listed, but you can go to the Jetson Education website and check all the benefits you have, because they are quite a lot. Now, I want to show you an example of a startup made by students, which is using Jetson to make industrial projects. The startup is called Ciali and they are part of the NVIDIA Inception program, which is a program we have to help startups with AI projects. Threw the screw in the middle of the alternator and that caused some problems on final clients with uh, returns of the manufactured pieces and so on. So we implemented uh, a Xavier NX that you can see in this, in this photo that you are seeing right now. And in this third and last use case, we are working with Fushima, that it's a toothbrush and all kind of hygienic product manufacturer. We managed to uh, look at the toothbrushes in real time with also Jetson family hardware with all of our prod uh, of with all of our software embedded on, on the Jetson platform, and we are looking for different kind of um, errors that usually occur on the toothbrush production. Now let's see an example of a top company using Jetson, like Peris Digital. Peris Digital is a spin-off of Peris Costumes, which is working with hundreds of movies and TV series, providing costumes for them. Now this company is trying to digitalize millions of clothes for TV series. For that task, they have built this amazing setup using 36 Jetson Nanos and 144 Sony cameras. Each Jetson Nano is connected to four cameras and is pre-processing the image and calculating the focal point of every camera. The Jetson sends all the images to a main server, which is also a Jetson, and then the scan is sent to an NVIDIA GPU that is going to reconstruct the scene. And by the way, this connects very well the NVIDIA embedded world to the NVIDIA Omniverse world, because all these clothes are being recreated for Omniverse. So yes, the Jetson Nano 2GB is the perfect fit for a long AI career because you can use it from high school to big industrial projects. And now, as a summary, here you have all the links for the courses, tutorial, the developer forums, and even a link to apply for a Jetson 2GB grant. If you are an educator, if you are a university, you can apply to these grants and try to get some units to test if your use case is really interesting. And finally, if you have any question or if you want to ask about some kind of volume discounts, send me an email and I will try to reply as soon as possible. And thank you so much for attending this session. By the way, this is my 3D scan made with 36 years on nano and 144 sorry, cameras soon in Omniverse. If you have any question, please drop me an email to asier at nvidia.com or contact me on Twitter or Instagram at asier Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.